Hello, this is a part of wireless attacks video series on securitytube.net and this particular video is on honeypot attack. Now how exactly wireless honeypot works? Before going into details about working of honeypot, let's first concentrate on how exactly wireless association takes place. Now whenever wireless station comes up, this wireless client will probe for all the SSIDs which are present in its preferred network list one by one. So it will first probe for the, for the first SSID. If it, if it gets the response for that SSID, it will go ahead, it will go ahead and try to associate it, associate with that SSID. If it's a success, it will start the data transfer. Otherwise, it will pick the next SSID and again try to probe for that SSID for the existence. And the same thing will go on and on till the stable association is formed. Now even after stable association is formed, to get a access point with a better signal strength or, uh, the, or to get access point which can provide a better service, client keeps on trying different access points. Now same thing is being exploited in honeypot attack. Now what exactly is done in honeypot attack? Whenever client probes for any SSID, the attacker will spoof the SSID for that probed probe request and it will respond with the probe response for that SSID. Now since the attacker or since the station got the response, it will go ahead and do the authentication and association with that access point. Now since that access point is being controlled by the attacker, he can always go ahead and do the association and authentication successfully with the client and this particular scenario is called as honeypot access point. The attacker's access point is called the honeypot of the original access point and this attack is called as honeypot attack. To complete the association, attacker um, uh, might have to provide the DHCP address to the client or he will have to do the successful association so that the station will not feel that I am associating with some rogue or with some honeypot at, uh, access point but station will always feel that I am getting associated with proper access point and I am getting served with proper access point with all the credentials properly. As I explained in last slide client will probe for a SSID which is present in its network list. If it gets the probe response, is it goes ahead and tries to associate with that access point. Now what is the attacker's job? Attacker has to spoof the SSID of proper access point. Now when there is a client probing for that SSID, he has to serve the client with proper authentication response and proper association response and thereafter with DHCP and proper HTML pages so, so that the station will always find that I am getting served properly so station has no knowledge of attacker's existence and he is always feeling I am associated to proper access point. Once you have successful honeypot connection and a station is associated to you the attacker's job is very simple. He can launch n number of attacks like man in the middle attack. He can actually act as a mediator between the station and the internet. So all the traffic is getting routed through the attacker. So all passwords and shared secrets and whatnot, everything the attacker is getting first. So he can easily spoof on that and he can easily find out the more important details about station and the network as well. He can also launch the denial of service attack though denial of service attack is very naive and non powerful attack but still he can go ahead and launch that. Once he has access to the station he can launch many metasploit attacks and he can find out much more information which is stored on the station and that's very risky because many unpatched laptops or many unpatched clients are lying around in any enterprise subnet and if a honeypot connection is successful 
he can launch or he can eventually launch an attack on your enterprise network as well and that's really scary how to prevent such honeypot attacks again you have to follow all the good practices like switch off your wireless connections whenever you are not using them you must have a good firewall settings good configuration settings on your stations and your administrator should have proper administration while deploying wireless access points and wireless stations so that such honeypot attacks are minimized to very low extent you may deploy a wireless overlay solution so that these honeypot attacks can be detected and can be prevented easily and so on that's it for this video you may watch more videos on securitytube.net on wireless attacks and gain more knowledge on wireless attacks for launching such attacks as well as preventing such attacks from the attackers thank you